Images of meditation are all over our popular culture. And people seeking a higher state of being through its practice are all around us, too. Our cover story is reported now by Mika Brzezinski. No, this is not a still photo. Something is happening here. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. This is the face of modern meditation, a kind of inner contemplation gaining mainstream attention, not just for spiritual enlightenment, but for its powers to heal the body, focus the mind, and relieve stress. I could feel the change almost immediately. In the most unlikely of places, in the small town of Fairfield, Iowa, this is the key to higher learning. Welcome to the Maharishi School and Maharishi University, named after the guru the Beatles followed. Remember Maharishi Mahesh Yogi? Well, here students practice his technique of transcendental meditation, or TM for short. It, it may not be, sound pretty, but I think some kids watching this might think, it's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, kind of freaky. Yeah. Well, if it I, makes you feel good, then I mean, what's the problem? Yeah. yeah. It's just... <laughs> A, a natural experience. Period at the end of the sentence. Huh? Very good. Okay. Along with the basics and the classics. The more fool, Madonna, to mourn for your brother's soul being in heaven. The younger kids do a walking meditation. While the older kids sit for 15 minutes twice a day. Each student has a personal mantra, a sound they internalize. Goal? to calm the mind. I am somewhat hyper, and like, if I have chocolate or anything, <laughs> I like completely change. It's like actually not cool. And if I just meditate, boo, I'm totally normal again. What's a good example of sort of a great meditation experience for you? Well, when I just let my thoughts about homework and boys and clothes just <laughs> slip away and that, and it's just really peaceful. And then when you're done, you're more relaxed and you can deal with all your problems better. I remain like really clear in activity and really efficient in activity. Like I have a lot of homework and I work after school and I also do, I golf a lot and play sports and just keeping up with that. I need to stay focused. I need to stay clear and centered and meditation. That's what it does for me. Think what you will. Headmaster Ashley Dean says the school's report card speaks for itself. I've been here 15 years and I'm amazed every single day at what these students accomplish. When I go to a tennis competition, they'll say, oh, you're a tennis academy. We've won 17 state tennis championships in, in the last 16 years. Uh, if I go to speech and drama, they say, oh, you're a theater school. We've won more of the top awards than any other school in the history of the state. We've won the American high school math competition four years in a row. We've won the science fair 10 times. We've won the junior science fair eight years in a row. People listening, watching might say, come on, Meditation makes these kids perform better? Right, exactly. Is that possible? Yes. Well, think of what, what do most people think of. If you want to send your child to a good school, usually you're thinking they'll learn more. They'll learn more information, more facts. They'll work them harder. But what that creates is stress. It actually damages the brain physiology. What we do is something totally unexpected. We have the children do nothing, literally, <laughs> for a few minutes in the morning and the afternoon. And what that does, and it allows the mind to settle down to its quietest level. And just that experience enlivens the brain physiology and prepares them for activity. Of course, there's no proof meditation makes you smarter. But Fred Travis, professor of psychology at Maharishi University, says TM helps improve communication between different areas of the brain. You notice the rising and falling of the waves here, the rising and the falling of the waves here. And so we're seeing the front of the brain, the back of the brain being coherent it means they're talking to each other. They're not doing separate things. They're completely integrated. Is what you're saying is that most people don't have the, the front side and the back side of their brain in sync and meditation creates that sort of relationship? Not so much creates, it's strengthened. It's almost like going down to the gym. Mm -hmm. Instead of building up physical muscles, you're building up connections.
We've noticed that people are more thoughtful, take more time to decide how to react to people, how to react to very stressful situations. Jeffrey Abramson, a partner at Tower Companies, an eco-friendly real estate firm in Bethesda, Maryland, says he offers free classes on transcendental meditation to his staff. Although TM classes typically cost $2,500, Abramson says it's worth it. As we have found much more than the fact that they get sick less and much more than they're more loyal and less likely to leave our company. Much more than that, what we have found is all aspects of their lives improves. It's, it's very hard to describe the feeling that you get. Quite honestly, you, you just, you don't feel like you're, you're going in a thousand different directions. And while more and more Americans are just beginning to discover its benefits, in Fairfield, Iowa, it's a way of life. I just say try it. And if you don't like it, fine, don't, don't do it. But people here, it's not like you have to do it. It's like you want to do it. It's something that you feel the benefits of so much that you just don't want to stop it.